What is good ladies and gentlemen, it is your boy JPEN88 here and I'm back at it once again with a minor channel update announcement. I'm gonna actually be going through a couple of ideas that I have for 2024 as well as some plans for this year and the next set of couple of years. So without any hesitation, I'm just gonna get right into it. So to start things off, I wanted to actually go through the results of the Sonic Speedrun Marathon that I did last year. Uh, given that this was the first time that I actually covered or done marathon or let alone any live streaming in well over a couple of years now. One thing that I would like to mention was that I forgot to actually do something in the very last day on the New Year's Eve stream, which was actually make the donation that I made myself towards the charity that I was supporting. Uh, yeah, basically, I donated well over $100. I felt like, you know what? You know, as I mentioned from before starting the marathon, is that I intended not actually make a donation of my own right after being able to finish the marathon. So, um, I can not say I was able to donate at least a hundred dollars to the charity that I was supporting. You know, as it is the first time actually doing this, I have been taking notes about ways that I wanted to be able to improve this one. So, that being said, that also leads into the first announcement of this video, which is as of June 23rd, 2025, plan on actually running this marathon back completely and in regards to the games that I wasn't able to play or wasn't able to actually show off, I am going to try my best to actually include those as well. So those would include Sonic Schoolhouse, Sonic the Hedgehog Game World, and possibly Sega Superstars. This is obviously going to be referred to as the Sonic Speedrun Redemption Charity Marathon 2.0. And as I mentioned, it's going to be set for June 23rd, 2025, which is on Sonic the Hedgehog's birthday. This was originally something that I had in mind uh, when it came to the marathon last year, but seeing as the announcement of Sonic Superstar is being released, I figured I would actually include that as part of the marathon. And the reason why I also mentioned doing this in 2025 is because of two reasons. First of those being giving myself a year and a half in advance to be able to focus on every single game in the marathon. So I don't want to be able to miss out on like one game or if anything, end up having to rush into the things like accidentally had done last year. Even though I should have originally intended on starting practice runs for the marathon last year starting in 2022 but instead i decided to start it in 2023 so i figured this time around i want to actually give myself a better chance at wanting to actually focus on every single game and not having to just rush into things and such as far as how practice is going to go for each of the games here i'm thinking ones that i've already done practice run on i'm now going to change things up and actually going to try a completely different category for them but as far as the ones that only have one category i'm thinking i'm either just going to run it back or I'm just not gonna bother actually doing practice runs on them. I think a couple of games, ones that I've never actually done practice run on, was definitely the Sonic Boom series. So, the two 3DS games and the one Wii U game, which, by the way, even though all three of those games were actually first time for me to actually go through, I definitely feel like, I feel more inspired and wanting to actually do more speed runs on them. Aside from that as well, there were a couple of Game Gear games as well that I didn't actually do a practice run on, so those, being, I believe it was Tails Sky Patrol and Tails Adventure. Given that there were a couple of random categories that I included with certain games like Sonic Unleashed and Sonic and the Black Knight, Sonic and the Secret Rings, it's just like ideas that I felt like definitely would have been included as part of the leaderboard, but again, you know, these were some things that I wanted to try out and like the Boss Rush Mayhem category that I included for a majority of the games I felt like definitely would have been an idea that would have been worth running for the most part. But again, plan on running a completely different category for every single game and the ones that I didn't cover a practice run on, I'm definitely guaranteed going to actually cover now. Second reason, the second thing for why I have it set for 2025 is because it actually leads over to the first poll that I would like to mention I actually created as part of the community tab. It's actually going to be talking about uh, the next marathon idea that I'm thinking I am going to try and do for this year. So I want to actually try something different. For this in mind, I actually have six different marathon themes. I'm thinking all of them I would like to guarantee try and do, but one of them is actually questionable. 
far as I'm looking into things. And then as far as um, a majority of these marathon ideas go, I haven't actually looked into like a ton of research as to what ideas are going to be included for each of these so far, but I would like to go into details as to um, what each of these marathon ideas are and what they're going to include. For starters, we got a uh, Sonic Modified ROMs, which is basically going to be going through a ton of ROM hacks, which includes likes of Sonic Mega Mix, we got Classic Heroes, we got the Master Edition series, which is going to include all four of them, which is Sonic 3 & Knuckles Master Edition 1, Sonic 3 & Knuckles Master Edition 2, Sonic 2 Master Edition 3, and Sonic 1 Master Edition 4 Final Phase. And then there's the Anniversary Editions of Sonic 1 and 2. But again, these are all just um, pretty much uh, notable titles that are going to be included for this themed marathon. As far as looking into how many are going to be included for this one, I'm looking to try and get into at least 50 of them. But keep in mind as well, these are going to be considered full game. The next marathon idea that I have is fan games, of course, which I feel this might be the most anticipated one, but again, this one, uh, we'll see whatever happens. So, um, a couple of ideas for these ones are noted, also part of my top 10 fan games of all time. So these would include Sonic Triple Trouble 16-bit, Sonic in the Fallen Star, uh, Sonic Classic 1, as well as Sonic Classic 2, Sonic SMS Remakes. But yeah, aside from those couple of fan games I think most definitely am going to include uh, before and after the sequel as well as a uh, chrono adventure. Uh, next marathon idea that I do have of course is another anticipated one which is Sonic 3 Air Mods. Now this one is going to be a variety mix of character mods as well as full game edit mods. So a couple to really note here is Sonic Mod, DA Garden Edition, the full ports of Sonic Master Edition 1 and 2, of Sonic 3 & Knuckles Master Edition 1 and 2, of course a ton of notable extra slot characters, one of which of course is going to be 3D and 2D Shadow. Now as far as the next idea goes, it's really a big question mark because I'm not really sure how this one might work, but basically this next marathon idea would be Sonic Mania Plus mods. But the thing is, you know, given that Sonic Mania Plus has had a ton of updates throughout the past couple of years, not every mod that I'm thinking of or have showcased previously might end up working with the latest version of Sonic Mania Plus. Notable ones that I would think of including so far is Super Plus Hyper Edition and Advanced Quest. I would like to include ones that are just fully completed, not just ones that are still in work in progresses or still in demo versions and stuff. Now this next marathon idea is definitely something that I feel is more so like a project marathon, still like a long-term project marathon that I'm thinking about doing and might be considered the craziest one that I'm thinking about. So consider it to actually include this one, which is the entire Nintendo GameCube library, which I know what you're thinking though. You're really gonna go through the entire Nintendo GameCube library. Given that it's so rare that anybody has ever done this before, I feel like because Nintendo GameCube is one of my all-time favorite consoles and still to this day it really is, it's doing a couple of notes here for this one. And given that there was at least like three different sites that was saying like three different numbers for like the amount of games in the Nintendo GameCube library. So one site literally said 651, second one literally said 650, and then the third one literally said 646, which again, that's definitely a lot. You know what I mean? And again, this might be the crazy case idea that I might have ever attempted, but again, I'm thinking of this as like a long-term project because I definitely want to try and collect all the games but this definitely includes every single region so of course aside from the north american region this is definitely going to include uh european and japanese exclusive games so and last but certainly not least is something that i definitely feel like this is going to be referred to as the memory lane marathon now basically with this marathon idea going to be going through not 50 but 100 different childhood games that i grew up playing in my childhood there's at least three or four games on this list of 100 games that I don't think I've ever played before but would like to include are related to the games that are part of the 100 games here. So a couple of games worth noted in mind here. So we got Sheep, got Pac-Man Adventures in Time, we got Sonic and Knuckles Collection, which is going to include all three games as part of that collection. Speedy Egbert, got Spooky Castle, Adventures of Kid Mystic, Super Collapse 3, Chicken Invaders 2, Pitfall the Mega Adventure, Bookworm Adventures Volume 1, and we got Mini Car Racing. I named only at least 10 
10 out of 100 because I don't want to go spoiling what the entire list is going to look like. And I did end up making a backup, a uh, small list of backup games that I would replace certain games with if any of the games on the 100 games list end up not working. But I definitely would like to try my best and actually include every single game on this list though. Because it would definitely means, it definitely would mean a lot to me. But again, um, this is part of the poll so all the ideas that I just mentioned here, um, I did include as part of this poll, so by all means though, feel free to vote for whichever marathon idea you guys want to see. I'm going to give it this poll until the end of January, more so February 1st, the 1st of February. As far as when this next marathon, for whichever idea this next marathon idea is going to be, um, I'm anticipating on doing this uh, as part of the summertime, so I'm thinking I'm going to actually start the marathon idea um, on Sonic the Hedgehog's birthday, so basically the 23rd, uh, which is my understanding is going to be on a Sunday, so I think it would be a good idea to try and do it by then. So next thing I'm going to talk about is uh, a couple of plans that I have for this year. So um, I think for one, it's most definitely going to be try to build a better streaming setup. Second on the list of plans is definitely something that I want to actually talk more about on, which is digging into more research for getting a couple of new consoles. As far as the way that I'm looking into a lot of things for this year, I think there's only two consoles, or more so handheld consoles I should say, that I'm actually looking into getting for this year. Start the list off is most definitely an iPad. Why I would say an iPad is mainly because, of course, new game that came out, which was Sonic Dream Team, and I felt like I was definitely anticipated on wanting to play this game, but the main reason as to why I was never able to do so was because I don't actually own an iOS device other than an iPod Touch. I randomly assumed it would have been available on Android, but sadly it's not, so it seems to be only an iOS sort of game. Aside from Sonic Dream Team as well, there's been a ton of iOS exclusive games that I've come across leaderboards on, speedrun leaderboards on. I can't say that I would want to get an iPad like right away, right away, but I definitely anticipate on wanting to get one, uh, hopefully for this year. Next on the list is definitely something that I anticipate the most on, um, I'm definitely looking forward on wanting to get, uh, which is a PS Vita. Why I would say a PS Vita is mainly because, obviously for Sonic Rivals 1 and 2, because I was recently looking into research for like the past week on what it would be like in a PS Vita and stuff. Aside from the PSP games as well, I mean, looking at the PS Vita uh, game library, it definitely is a certain amount of games that I feel like uh, I definitely want to try and get into. I feel like after watching a ton of review videos the same why I would want to get a PS Vita, you know, I, I feel more convinced I would definitely want to get one now. So hopefully I would want to try and get one this year. It's the same thing with the iPad though. These are the only two considered handhelds that I'm hoping to actually get this year, but you know, it's pretty much a wait and see sort of thing. So next on this list is a Japanese 3DS. And why do I would say a Japanese 3DS specifically is because I want to actually try and get into Japanese exclusive 3DS titles. A couple of notable 3DS, Japanese 3DS exclusive games would definitely be the Metabot series. I don't say this, I don't say Metabots enough, but because Metabots has always been considered one of my favorite animes for the longest time. Next on this list has been one console that I've been definitely had on my mind for quite possibly the past month now, and that is uh, an N64. Aside from Super Mario 64 itself, you know, there's, there's a ton of games in an N64 library I would definitely want to get into, and even though I'm so used to running a lot of the N64 games previously on emulator. I feel like as of recently though, I've been more convinced I'm wanting to actually try to really try to get more onto the console as well. And I'm not gonna lie either. I think with one game in mind, especially with like Smash Bros 64, so it also complete my entire Smash Bros collection because I'm thinking of games like, you know, Mario Kart 64 and, um, you know, Tonic Trouble, Earthworm Jim 3D, Tom and Jerry Fist of Fury, all right, now the next two consoles I should actually say is something that I'm actually still debating on, which is an Xbox Series X and an Xbox Series S. Now why I'm actually debating between these two is because I'm really just looking at, I'm looking into pretty much wanting to get into like the latest Xbox games that are pretty much out there nowadays. Between these two, I feel like I'm leaning more towards an Xbox Series S because I hear so many more positive things about that version. To anybody out there that does happen to own either one of these consoles or both, 
feel free to you know express your opinion in the, the comments down below and last but not least is actually a three-way console debate between PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, and PlayStation 5. This is actually more so between the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, so I'm just gonna push aside PlayStation 3 for a minute. Why I've been thinking mainly about both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5, well, I think the obvious answer I feel like would be just go for the PlayStation 5, right? Just because it's a higher number and such. I remember hearing something about the PlayStation 5 being more compatible or like being backwards compatible with a majority of PlayStation 4 games, so I'm thinking maybe it would be best to really try to lean more towards the PlayStation 5. Um, I th I'm thinking as far as as a PlayStation 3 goes. I would like to consider this as like a backup console to like Xbox 360 because I feel more confident in running games from the Xbox 360. Uh, that aside though, uh, I feel like main priority for this year is pretty much going for an iPad and a PS Vita. And at most like other consoles that I just named here, uh, pretty much questionable, but at most I would like to think about getting in the long term process of things. But to anybody that does happen to own any of these consoles that I just named and wants to express their opinions on whether or not it's worth it or not, feel free to say anything about it in the comments down below. Next to the consoles, um, I'm thinking about attempting to start a new type of gameplays. So with this one in mind, I've been thinking of the showcase that I did yesterday being Sonic 3 Air DA Garden Edition Emerald Hill Zone. I remember reading a couple of comments in the mod page that said it would actually make a, a guide or a video showing off where to find all the red star rings for the stages for all the characters. So I figured I would want to actually make that idea really into a video and have an idea I want to actually try and start doing more guides, maybe even start doing tutorials. As far as the way that I'm thinking about how the tutorials are going to go, um, I remember I remember seeing a couple of comments uh, recently about there being uh, people that want to see see me make a, a video as to how do I actually add mods to a lot of the games that happen to showcase. So now I'm thinking about this in my mind, but the main reason why I haven't actually made those type of videos is mainly because I usually want to shed light on a lot of the smaller uh, content creators that happen to make tutorials for those type of videos and I always refer to those videos to anybody that does happen to ask me about how to actually add mods or how to be able to play mods for a lot of the games that I showcase. That aside though, uh, it's also a second poll that I made uh, in, regards, uh, in regards to this question. So any of you guys want to actually happen to see me make any sort of tutorials for how do I actually how to actually play any mods for any of the games that I showcase, feel free to vote uh, in a second poll that I made in the community tab. And I'm thinking as far as guides go though, it's something I'm still thinking about because I'm trying to get more ideas of like what guides I would want to really try to build on towards certain games. Uh, I think the only one that I have in mind that I'm still working on actually pretty much the entire mod of Sonic 3 Air DA Garden Edition where I want to actually try and make a video dedicated to trying to locate all the red star rings for every stage. So far I have been able to cover just Angel Island. Um, haven't actually started the other stages yet but this still I feel like this might end up taking hours on end to be able to actually finish everything. I am highly anticipated on wanting to actually uh, put everything like put this whole guide thing together. Um, it's pretty much just like a wait and see as to like when I might be finished with this one. Aside from guides and tutorials as well, uh, I feel like I want to be able to continue certain playlists like the Halo Unlock series. Aside from GameCube games, uh, even though there are a couple in mind that I ha am thinking about making a 100% showcase or how to unlock uh, would want to also explore possibly Xbox 360, Wii, maybe even PlayStation 2 as well. But yeah, all of these are also sort of like a wait and see sort of thing. See how they work out, if anything. This is a, mostly like a trial and error sort of thing, but I, I'm definitely willing to try some of those type of showcases out. Before I end this video, I just want to bring something up that I know a lot of you guys have brought up to my attention, whether it was through YouTube comments or it was through Discord DMs. In no way, shape, or form is this any sort of discouragement. Throughout last year, um, I got a lot of comments from a lot of you guys that were telling me that there's a couple of channels out there that have been stealing my content. Those that have actually brought it up to my attention, I would like to say, I definitely do appreciate you guys. Um, especially a couple of Sonic speedrunners have reached out to me telling me about this as well. And that, like, I, I, I didn't know how to feel at first because I was like, well, I didn't know whether to feel like I was honored or really just completely disrespected because quite frankly, it's just like, I, I, don't, I didn't know how to honestly feel about any of that. 
you know what I mean? Like, it's the way that I want to go about saying this, and I just want to say this, you know, I'm not going to go off on a rant at all, because I feel like it would just be a waste of time having to do so, because I want to pretty much be a person that's more about positivity much rather than any sort of negativity whatsoever look my message for these three channels is this and i know for a fact that they're watching this video as well i'm not going to say that i'm mad nor am i upset it's more so that i'm disappointed in the fact that you have channels that are so fixated on trying to pose themselves as somebody that they're not be yourselves you know what i mean like stop trying to be somebody that you're not I understand, you see a lot of the consistency that I'm doing, and you feel like, oh, some of the videos that I post are pretty interesting, so let me just straight up copy what I do. I, I'm, I'm not going to go off on a rant on it, because again, it's not worth it, but if anything, you know, I appreciate a lot of you guys that brought this to my attention, and I know these channels are watching this too, and again, I'm only going to say this in the nicest way possible, but it's better to be yourself rather than be posing yourself as somebody else, and copy everything that that person does. You know what I mean? Because again, you you are only so fixated on the wanting to wait until I post something just so that you can rip that entire video off. I'm a nice guy, trust me. Not even the type of guy to go off on a rant. Just chill out with doing too much of that copy and pasting stuff. I know whether or not this is gonna fly over their head and they're gonna ignore it and keep going, or they're actually gonna hear out what I'm saying and they would want to talk it out. It's up to them. But again, you know that's my only message towards them. So with that in mind. I want to also end this video on a positive note. It's like every year I usually want to make quotes, any sort of positive motivation quotes for those that really want any sort of encouragement and motivation for the new year. So here it goes. Sometimes we're tested on not to show our weaknesses, but to discover our strengths. Our greatest weakness lies in giving up. The most certain way to succeed is always to try just one more time. Nothing is impossible. The word itself says I'm possible. And with that in mind, I'll see you guys in the next one.